In this experiment, we're going to be investigating rates of reaction by changing the temperature of sodium thiosulfate solution. So the reaction is going to be between the sodium thiosulfate and hydrochloric acid, and when the two react, they form small solid particles of sulfur, and that makes the, the, the mixture uh, become cloudy. So I've got my sodium thiosulfate in a hot water bath at about 60 degrees at the moment, and I'm going to measure out 25 centimetres cubed of sodium thiosulfate, pop it into a conical flask, and then measure out 5 centimetres cubed of hydrochloric acid, pop that in the conical flask, and they will react together, form the tiny particles of sulphur, and our mixture is going to start to become cloudy. So I'm going to start by taking a plain piece of paper and drawing a cross in the centre of it, and I'm going to time how long it takes for my mixture to become so cloudy that I cannot see the cross through the mixture anymore. So I have just measured out my 25 centimetres cubed of warm sodium thiosulfate. I'll pour that in. And I'm going to pop my thermometer in just to check the temperature of this. Leave that in there for a couple of seconds to get the correct temperature. And I'm going to record that in a results table. We're then going to repeat this experiment um, using different amounts of hot sodium thiosulfate and cold sodium thiosulfate so that we have a range of different temperatures and we'll be able to investigate does the temperature of the sodium thiosulfate have an effect on how fast the reaction proceeds. Okay, so my, th my thermometer now is telling me that my mixture is at 51 degrees. So I write 51 degrees down in my results table. I get my stop clock ready. I've got my five centimeters cubed of hydrochloric acid. I don't need my thermometer in there anymore. I'll pop my five centimeters cubed in, start my stop clock, give it a little swirl so it's all mixed around together, and watch until I cannot see through the mixture and I can't see the cross anymore. So it's starting to become cloudy, difficult to see the cross, get ready to stop and stop. So that was 18 seconds, so I can record that on my table. At 51 degrees C, it took 18 seconds before the mixture became too cloudy to see through it. I'm going to repeat the experiment, but this time I've measured out 20 centimetres cubed of the hot sodium thiosulfate, and I've measured out 5 centimetres cubed of cold sodium thiosulfate from the fridge. So I've still got a total of 25 centimetres cubed, but this time it's going to be cooler than before. So I'll pour that in, pop my thermometer in, Ooh. I'm using the same cross as last time to make it a fair test. I'm using the same volume of sodium thiosulfate, but it's going to be at a different temperature. So looking at the thermometer now, my temperature for my second reading is 42 degrees. Okay, so I'm now going to continue the experiment, um, but each time I add the sodium thiosulfate, it's going to be at a lower temperature because I will have added less of the hot and more of the cold. And I'll show you what my results look like at the end. My results show me that the reaction was quicker at higher temperatures. You can also replot the results. Instead of using time, you do one over time, which gives you the rate. Have a go at a few questions, pause the video, and then unpause to see the answers.